guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review, and this time I've got iHackers MIUI V5 for Galaxy S3. So it's uh, an awesome ROM. You guys already know how MIUI is and how it is easily one of the most beautiful ROMs available for any phone. So uh, it's also available for our S3 in the official form. This one is actually a bit of a modified version of the official one. So let's get into it. Uh, here you have an aroma based installer so that you can choose whatever apps you want to install. So this one is the iPhone iOS style um, installer I guess. So you have this ability to change the uh, lock screen. So this one is a iOS style lock screen. So you have the ability to choose that. So now this one is the MIUI launcher. You also have the ability to choose the launcher. So I have chosen the MIUI launcher. Do check out my installation video so that you can know what all are the options you can use to install. So now let's get into it. Let's go to um, settings page. I have already done a uh, MIUI video. So it's pretty much same. Uh, okay, this one is made by iHackers by the large orange thing you see there. Let me just tone down uh, brightness a little bit. Okay, now uh, about the phone, you can name the device whatever you want. Okay, model number is S3, that is GT9300. Android version is 4.1.1, which uh, might be a bit obsolete by now, but well, the Android MIUI is still in uh, 4.1.1 for Galaxy A so yeah you have to use that one uh, MIUI version is 3.10.20 so it is the latest one so yeah pretty neat quad core 1.4 gigahertz these are just phone specs kernel version is uh, the um, I have chosen the Biofla kernel so yeah you have the option for that too it's pretty neat now uh, what are the other settings? Uh, others are pretty much same as the MIUI, so I'm not going to get into that too much. At display settings, you have all these options like um, phone size, prevent misuse, well, it is in your pocket by the proximity sensor, uh, things like that. Sound settings are pretty neat, uh, pretty standard, I guess. Uh, almost every ROM has these settings. It does come with wiper mod. So you can select Viper for Android FX, Music FX, the uh, normal one, or Viper for Android X5, uh, X Hi-Fi. So you have the ability to choose the Viper for Android, which is one of the best sound mods available for any phone. Pretty neat. Now status bar, what you see here, the normal notification and the toggles menu, uh, infamous in uh, MIUI, I guess. So you have the option for that. You can choose whatever you want. Some notification settings, pretty neat. You can select the notification for each and every app you have. Pretty neat. Customize toggle positions. This is pretty neat. Uh, again, you can have different toggles here so this page is customizable pretty neat pretty MIUI stuff right uh, status uh, uh, show network speed in the status bar pretty neat pretty neat stuff so sorry let's get to the settings now what else now uh, security and privacy this one is uh, like the security option in the normal and the Android version so nothing special there location service standard one do not disturb, you can schedule a time at which the ringer will be in silent. So you have that option, so pretty neat. Now, accounts, it does have MI Cloud, which is a feature of MIUI. So you do have, you can sync. If you are planning on using MIUI for a long time, you can have this one enabled. So pretty neat, I really like the options available in there. There are a lot of features with which you can uh, have better experience with my cloud because uh, it has a feature like uh, if the battery percentage ever gets below 40 percentage it will upload your camera photos directly to me cloud so if your phone uh, dies uh, like <laughs> your battery goes off you still have those uh, photos uploaded to your cloud so you can use them later so yeah there can be a lot of situations which you might have to do that so yeah pretty neat now battery uh, is pretty neat now this one is extra battery info this is a exposed mo exposed module which I'll show you guys later 
uh, what else buttons and key mapping you can have that one also settings is the uh, settings for the standard uh, Samsung settings which are available in the stock ROM. This is a stock based ROM. It is 4.1.1 So it is a stock based ROM really old one maybe but it does have power saving and all of this It's really awesome. That's that's uh, probably the best reason to choose this ROM. So pretty neat uh, What else date and time all of these are standard features accessibility has a few extra features like uh, power button and calls yeah I think Samsung also has that no yeah that is it uh, rest of them are the quick settings also found in here but you can have that accessed quicker so pretty neat so uh, yeah this round thing I wanted to make a note of that okay so what is else okay what is the difference between the official MIUI and this iHackers MIUI the only difference is that a lot of changes are under the hood okay it has a lot of modifications like speed mods battery mods performance mods stability mods uh, audio mods graphic mod a lot of them I really can't stress that enough it has uh, graphic mods like the um, pure graphics HD uh, audio mods like pure audio uh, GPU rendering enabled beats audio inbuilt uh, noise reduction etc etc performance also is pretty neat it does have bravia display technology well that the uh, the version available for all phones so it does have that it has a lot of things so yeah it's pretty much a lot of roms it has a lot of features under the hood so you might it might not be uh, apparent uh, from the start but as you're using it you, it is really smooth I uh, have used the MIUI and after you load up a few apps you can see a bit of a stutter here and there the this one if I close all of them it is at 367 uh, it was at 500 at uh, when I first started the video so it's really neat okay so what what else now this is a launcher right so as an MIUI you have all the apps appearing at this page like the iPhone so you have the ability to just choose what all apps you want to install like I have personally chosen uh, Cedar which is a uh, lag reduction app which well does work on some ROMs pretty neat a fancy widget play music okay something uh, you have the ability to choose the um, themed G apps rather than the normal G apps like the play music you have a glass themed G apps you can see these are all my uh, music but you can see the background also so it is a transparent thing so pretty neat Gmail also is a transparent uh, app so you have the ability to choose that whatsapp is also transparent but it says that this became obsolete a few days ago so yeah so you have to use that yes explorer also it is uh, glass themed so you have a bunch of apps you can select as the glass theme i didn't select all of them so you have the ability to choose that it's pretty neat uh, add away it does have add away function well it is an app so i don't think that's pretty much a function of the wrong uh, you can have uh, different kernels as in as i have described in my uh, installation video you have a bunch of kernels you can use like the sia kernel Google max kernel or biofla kernel so i am using biofla kernel so you have uh, you can have that different thing okay pretty neat now what comes with this one uh, standard settings uh, gallery the miui gallery the camera app is actually the samsung camera app so you won't have any problems with that one pretty neat oh i'm taking a uh, video sorry about that yeah whatever it is it, it does work pretty neat okay the phone is working uh, contacts does work groups pretty neat uh, yeah something I really like about them and I have mentioned this in other videos too you see that clock okay you see that seconds icon well the time is uh, the correct time 1220 1220 some uh, little things which really makes us happy the calendar it displays 24 it is 24 actually it is 24th of October so pretty neat does have a security center with a lot of apps uh, me cloud uh, me credits 
downloads protection idea is my sim card provider okay app control you can control what app what all apps uh, start at the boot so pretty neat again um, antivirus it does come with antivirus this one is the stock root management app permission and root management app so you can have that okay pretty neat now recommended have hangout and qpn huaipan so that's a uh, i guess a chinese chat app so pretty neat now uh what else about the rom yeah i guess that much is it about the rom because this one is well basically it is an official miui release but with a lot of features under the hood and a lot of speed and battery life yeah this is really awesome in battery life so pretty neat it is a samsung based rom so you can expect that uh, i'll show you guys the boot animation and um, we'll be off reboot so that's the shutdown animation pretty neat so here is the you can still hear the sound right so here is the boot animation that is iHackers in the google edition style pretty neat pretty awesome <laughs> so yeah i guess that is it yeah one more thing about the uh, lock screen this is i guess it's not correctly in our uh, screen size so if you want to use this go ahead but i would suggest not using this one because uh, yeah as you see uh i i can't seem to be able to select a theme well theming feature you guys know about that, right well, it's a my ui what difference is my UI without theming feature so you can select um the uh, theme lock screen uh and the lock screen does not change so it's something which bothers me i don't know really a workaround i tried uh, locating the ios lock screen app but i can't seem to be able to do that so yeah if you really don't like the ios theme if you just want to try it try it off from an app rather than installing that or you have to i think you have to uh, flash this again so yeah oh, i really forgot one thing okay so let's see yeah this one is the exposed module for uh miui this one is called wsm tools so this is an installer and main manager for exposed framework yeah this does the exact job of exposed framework but it's not exposed installer it's rather than that it is this one so this one has miui features this one has uh, well specific MIUI uh, tweaks so you can have these installed and what I showed you there was the extra battery info I have installed two of them which is a volume skip track in the um, skip the vo uh, tracks using the volume button pressing and holding the volume button can skip the track pretty neat I really like that feature so yeah I guess that is it about the ROM Hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe, share, and like the video if you really found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.